What's up, everybody? This is Dark Masic with Brutally Delicious coming at you with a review of North Tail's brand new album, Eternal Flame. I was a really big fan of their debut album, so I was really, really eager to go ahead and do this one. Jumping right in, the album hits you right in the gut with its opening track, Only Human. The opening vibe kind of reminds me of Blank File by Sonata Arctica, which just hits you in the same exact way. Very favorable comparison. Really glad to hear it, guys. Elephant in the Room with this band is that they did change singers since the last album. The last singer was Christian Erickson, previously of Twilight Force, who also kicked him out. Christian was an absolutely amazing vocalist, evidently a huge diva to work with since he'd been kicked out of two different bands, but truly a marvel of the metal world. And somehow, their new singer kills it. He has a presence, for sure. There are hints of Christian in there, hints of Mikael Kiske from Halloween, but he's also got his own identity. Bill Hudson is definitely not disappointing here. A uh, big improvement from some of his stuff with Circle to Circle. Really, really exciting guitar work. But more than the fretwork, I'm just truly amazed by how frequently this band can churn out a killer melody or a killer pre-chorus. I already extolled the virtues of this, but the opening track, Only Human. Wonderful chorus. Very inspiring. Moving on. The second track is a ballad? That's audacious. The song does evolve, and it's awesome. It has this really cool, badass riff reminding me of Hell Patrol by Judas Priest, but with some progressive influence thrown in. But it is truly ballsy of them to do this. Not a metal thing, but it kind of reminds me of how Green Day put Good Riddance Time of Your Life on Nimrod, knowing it would piss off their fans, and later became, I think, their biggest hit. Moving on, I'd previously mentioned that the new singer sounds a little bit like Mikael Kiske, so when Future Calls came on, uh, I immediately recognized Kai Hansen's voice, and it just seemed like a perfect match for a guest vocalist. Almost like an ASMR-style pleasure to a power metal fan. The next song, The Land of Mystic Rites, this is very different. I was wondering whether this was an ad for some product when it came on, but again, great on them for branching out. Like, I don't think I've ever heard anything like this, at least not in the metal realm. This sounds like it could be on the soundtrack to Diablo 2 or some other RPG video game. It's awesome. This album is definitely a little heavier than the last one. There are some thrash metal moments, so I heard. Maybe it's just the production, but it's definitely a bit heavier than your typical Blind Guardian album. Maybe not as heavy as the Iced Earth stuff, but heavy. And it's not a bad thing. If anything, it helps set it apart. The song In the Name of God has some groove elements in its main riff. All in all, I think this definitely has more of an identity than the last one. Some other notes. The Iron Maiden cover is really cool. It's a deep cut from Fear of the Dark. One that I always loved and wondered why no one ever talked about it, so thanks for doing it justice, guys. And last but not least, let's talk about Nature's Revenge, the album closer, quote-unquote. It is 11 minutes of glory. I don't think I got tired once during this. Lyrically, I'm actually kind of wondering what it's about. Uh, my first thought was climate change, but I believe Bill Hudson is on the conservative side, which would land away from that. Still, though, it's an absolute masterpiece. I can't think of a song over 10 minutes long that didn't lose me like this since Christian's last Twilight Force album had the song there and back again. One last note would be on the closing track, The Ivy. It's a five-minute orchestral instrumental piece. Some of the sections reminded me of the Star Wars soundtrack, which is probably the greatest of all time, Fight Me. And though it was definitely enjoyable, I thought it was a little overlong, and might have been better suited as an intro to the first song. But I digress. Wonderful album, guys. Definitely going to spend this one a bunch of times for the end of the year. Thank you so much. Looking forward to whenever you're touring.